Well, good morning, my friends. I hope you're well today. I am so delayed. The last video I did was, it'll be a week tomorrow, but it was really from a week today um, because I've been traveling back to New Jersey and now I'm trying to get settled in. There's a lot to do when I got here. So I apologize for the delay in getting videos out, but I'm gonna try to get two or three out a day and catch up. Um, I am in Ocean Township, New Jersey. And, uh, beautiful gardens. There's gardens every place on here. And <coughs> my friend Karen was here taking care of my sister and all the gardens. And uh, now it's uh, she's leaving today. I'm going to the airport in a little while before I go to church. And uh, the care will be in my hands and whatever help I can gather while I'm here. So we are in Robert Henderson's 365 Prayers and Activations for entering the courts of heaven. And we're on the June the 10th, even though it's the 16th, I am in June 10th in his book. And the topic today that Robert has for us is the pondering eye of God. And uh, the scripture quoted, at least the one that's uh, written out completely is from Proverbs 5 and 21. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he, the Lord, ponders all his paths. So, God is thinking about us. We're on his mind. Don't you just love it? I love it. I love it. So this is what Robert has to say today. When we speak of the fear of the Lord as one of the seven spirits of God, we speak of living under the scrutiny of God's watchful eye. To ponder means to weigh. In other words, it means to consider and to evaluate our actions. It is not just a glancing or something, but rather a true investigation of the intent of the motives and the desires that are producing certain actions. There is nothing hidden before the Lord, nothing hidden. Everything is naked and open before him. See Hebrews 4 and 13. God sees all things and is aware of all things. Even though we may have secrets from people, there are no secrets before God. This should birth in us a fear of the Lord that impacts the decisions that we make in every place of our life. Not only does this affect this life, but it also has ramifications in the life that is to come. We will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and give an account for what we've done, and I'm going to add, and what we haven't done, see 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. There's nothing hidden from the Lord. Whoever will order their life in reference to this, according to the fear of the Lord, will have a good report of him, God, in this life and the life to come. There is a life to come. We need to be thinking about it, right? You don't think, some, you just don't think that way sometimes, but we need to be eternity minded we really do we need to do what we're supposed to do today but we need to be thinking about eternity this is Robert's prayer today Lord as I stand before your courts I thank you that all things are open and manifest before you I repent for every place I've walked in an ungodly and unrighteous way before you I ask that your blood Lord Jesus would speak for me and cleanse me from every accusation against me. Let me be acceptable before you in all my ways as I live under your pondering eye and watchful gaze. In Jesus' name, amen. Aren't the birds awesome? <laughs> now there's cars driving by that we're hearing too and I don't have my microphone, I forgot to get it. 
Uh, sometimes that's helpful, sometimes it isn't, but isn't that amazing to think about God's pondering eye? Ooh, little chipmunk. The two of them, they just went. This is way. They're running around. Here's tomato plants. I love God's creation. I just do. Anyway, this would be my prayer today. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. Your creation is all around me in the birds and the chipmunks and the flowers and the breeze. In the breeze, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for your pond. Thank, thank you for your pondering eye, for your um, watchful eye on me. As your Holy Spirit prompts me when I'm headed in the wrong direction, I thank you, Lord, that you're all knowing and there are no secrets from you and that all you want me to do is to share some of my secrets with you that I think you don't know about, but to confess them. That's why we confess. Thank you, Lord, that we have confession with you and that Jesus Christ has cleansed us of every single sin we could ever have or have in the future. Because we were born in, in, as sinners, we were born into sin. But Jesus, thank you for cleansing me. I'm no longer a sinner. I am saved by grace. And I thank you for that, Lord, today. On this beautiful Sunday, Father's Day. Bless all the fathers, Lord. Bless all the fathers, God. Bless all the good, good fathers that are following your precepts, Lord. And guide those that, who are not, that need a little help, God. There's plenty that need a little help, God. And again, I thank you for this day, Lord. Please guide us with your Holy Spirit for everything good and righteous, even when it hurts. I love you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, um, I hope you have a church to go to today. If you're in Tallahassee, uh, Capital City Church, it only has one service today for Father's Day at 10 a.m. Usually it's 9 and 11, but on holidays, certain holidays, it's only one service at 10 o'clock so that everybody can celebrate with family. And uh, that's at 862 Bluntstown Street. And if you're in New Jersey, near the shore, by anywhere near Asbury Park, Ocean Township, Wayside, Tinton Falls, Neptune, um, Glad Tidings Church is where I'm attending, and I love it there. And uh, it's in the 4,000 block of Asbury Avenue, Tinton Falls, which is right at the edge of Ocean Township, where I am. So um, I know the subject came up yesterday on Facebook about being disappointed by churches and uh, seeing hypocrites, you know, <laughs> so many people are, you know, it's just, that's what it is, right? That's, that's the way we are. Um, that's not the way we should be, but that's the way generally the world around us, uh, you, you see a lot of hypocrites and they end up in the church. So I made a suggestion on Facebook that you look for a church that teaches the entire Bible and the gifts and that you, there's love there and that there is love there that you feel loved there you may not feel love from every single person but if you feel loved generally there there's going to be some people there's always going to be some people and we need to minister to them and it may not be ministering to them by telling them what they're doing wrong. It may just be coming alongside them and loving them and gently guiding them. If you're a disciple of Christ, you're meant to disciple people. And people that need discipling are extremely imperfect. And I am so imperfect. We're all imperfect. Only God is perfect. So, find a church, keep looking. This person had commented they had gone here and there and everywhere, you know. It's like, keep looking, you will find it. You will find a church that fits that 
bill. So God bless you today. Happy Father's Day to the fathers. And uh, just as, I'm going to pray one more little prayer about fatherless people or that had difficult fathers growing up like myself. Lord, I pray you would be with every single person who has hurt hearts over their father, over their fathers, God, whether they're alive or they're not, God. And for the ones that don't even know who they are or where they are, God, I pray a special blessing over those children, no matter if they're adults or children, God. And I pray that they would know that you step in as our father in heaven, but you step in as our father and you can fill that space, that void for them, God. I pray that you'd help those that need to know that today, know that today, in Jesus' name, amen. So yeah, have a blessed day, and I'm going to uh, continue the days and get caught up. And uh, I, like I promised, I'm gonna have some more Bible studies. I'm setting up a little studio downstairs in the basement for myself, but getting settled in and organized here is, is just uh, taking time. So I'll see you on the next video. Like and share if you'd like. If you like it, thank you. If you feel like sharing it, please share it. That helps. It helps that YouTube algorithm. Anyway, so that more people can hear, hear, hear the word of God. I love you. But you know, he loves you so much more. There goes that chipmunk again.